Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to check how much space is taken by child seat and how child seat fit to the Tesla Model S. This is the model 2019 and well, let's get started. So I'm sitting on the back. We have child seat, which is uh, B safe, but keep in mind everything what is here, I both uh, for my own money. So this is not sponsor video. So coming back to subject, we have a child seat uh, B safe with a base and this is front front seating, front facing. And I am 185 centimeters high. And when I'm sitting on the back, all right, I have enough space behind myself. Uh, but let's see how much space I have on the back. I think it will be very hard to put an uh, adult person in the middle along with this child seat. That's the first um, impression. Uh, maybe like, a, I don't know, a, another child or teenager can fit here, but it must be kind of small person because it's only 30 centimeters left, which is very little. Uh, the situation the situation might change if uh, we switch the uh, child seat to uh, back facing. So le let's try this one. So the situation changed completely when the seat is back facing. And let's check how much space we have then. All right, so I think the passenger aside me might have like a 35 centimeters, but still it won't be comfortable position. So I would recommend to, if you're planning to trips with your children, to take maximum four uh, people. I would like to also highlight that uh, having a ventilation on the back of the car, it's very convenient. It's very nice to have and the car is uh, very well ventilated. I think we had this seat back facing when our son was uh, like a one year old and then go up up to two years and maybe one month two or something. Then we switch for the front facing. So you see it's kind of a lot of space inside. So now it's perfect. It's really plenty of space. You see I could put my fist in here. So I must say that this car is very spacious. There is one thing I need to tell you about is the door. Uh, the problem for parents might be that this part of the door is very long, which means on the parking spot you can easily hit the car aside you, especially if you have any you know, troubles with uh, fitting child inside the child seat and inside the car and so on. This is something nobody tell you about. So this is around 23 centimeters. I agree that this looks very nice in the car and, and so on, this design. But when you look at this from practical side, it's, it's not very convenient. You see this unnecessary 20 centimeters of loss. But yeah, as usually we need to choose between looking nice and being practical. <laughs> but for that there is a solution on a tight parking spot that you can have this summoning. But I think this is this cost extra. It's uh, possibly it's not in every single Tesla car. As you can see, we have also seat cover in the front and in the back. And this is very good idea because as you can see, it's already dirty, has uh, footprints over here and even over here. And we don't want these uh, lovely seats to be scratched. <laughs> So as you can see, there is not much difference between the front facing seat and the rear facing seat, how much space it takes, because I have seat the same, in the same position and it's no difference for me. Anyways, I can just move a little bit back, but honestly, it's not needed. Okay, before we start to mount the child seat, I need to show you where are the Isofix mounts. And they are placed kind of quite far behind. Which is good because uh, you don't feel it when you sit on it. But it's very hard to find them. Those signs help, but still it's like a, you know, a bit of effort. From the other side, if you have these covers, 
uh, it's easier to find a position to put uh, to mount uh, chai seat. And also what I noticed in, with the other Teslas, the old ones, they have scratch material over here. They have even damage worn and yeah, and it's, uh, that's the effect if you don't fit the mounting points, you don't align them, then you can easily damage your seat. So in general, it's all right, but one disconvenience. We have the base to mount, but first of all, Disclaimer that this is not a guideline, this is not instruction how to mount it. If you want to make sure you mount it properly, then you need to read manual or reach out to proper authorities. All right, so let's try to mount it and see how it is. This base is quite interesting because it shows you how you mount it. And if there is a mistake, you have a red color over here. And if it's properly mounted, you have a green one. And the same up here. So the, this leg need to uh, touch the floor. If not, you have the red color. Oh, sorry, red over here, down. And if it's touching, then it's okay, it's green one. If not, it's a sound, beeping sound. So we have a red color over here because need, we need to mount the child seat. So just fit the position, regulating over here. I think should be okay. So it's not easy to fit baby inside the chai seat because it's quite far away from the car. We have like 36 centimeters unused space. What I need to tell you also that our son uh, likes very much the glass roof. And when he's traveling, he observes sometimes and let us know uh, what is happening above us. <laughs> so this is especially useful when you have it called car sick or travel sickness, something like that. So keep in mind it might be a game changer for the traveling with kids. So answering the question, is it Tesla model as a good car for families? I think yes, maybe it's quite expensive, but it's still a very decent car and it's plenty room inside. However, we have just a little bit room wasted by the sides of the car uh, because it's a wide outside and a bit tight inside on the back, as you can, as you could see on the beginning of this video. So let me know in the comments down below if you have uh, other electric vehicles and if you have uh, troubles with mounting a child seat and which side child seat is the best for you guys and let me know let me know your opinion. So if this video was useful for you please subscribe this channel and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of that videos with Tesla suited for families and what you should look for before you buy Tesla. Let's see you in the next video.